Russian President Vladimir Putin announcing today that jailed oil tycoon Mikhail Khodorkovsky, who's been in prison for more than 10 years, will soon receive a pardon. It's the latest in a string of headlines from Russia as the country paves the way for what it hopes will be a smooth Winter Olympics Games. It's Thursday, December 19th. Welcome to Lunch Break. I'm Jason Bellini. Joining us from Moscow is Wall Street Journal reporter Alan Collison. Alan, Khodorkovsky will go free about three years earlier than expected. Why is this happening? Well, actually, no, it looks like it'll be released about eight months before expected. Um, I, I think I think that's probably the um, <clears throat> main thing to take in consideration when uh, assessing this piece of news. He, he was going to get out of prison anyway quite soon. I think that the uh, that this is one way to... Putin gets two things out of this. He gets to um, perhaps improve the mood um, before the Olympic Games when uh, he's going to be, he, there's quite a bit of criticism of Russia for its uh, somewhat authoritarian policies and um, somewhat, well, autocratic methods and also its uh, anti-gay legislation. But uh, also it gets to weaken a political opponent by saying that uh, he ap applied, for, um, applied, for, applied for a pardon and uh, admitted to some crimes which uh, I, I think is actually going to be a, a bit of a, uh, an issue. I'm, I'm, it's not clear he actually did admit any guilt. Interesting. Yeah. Uh, so, Alan, tell us about the amnesty bill that Russia passed yesterday. Who's likely going to go free as a result? Well, there are quite a few people who are, who are going to go free, but, uh, but most uh, um, importantly, uh, quite a few people who, who um, whose cases caused a lot of, uh, I, I don't know, un, uh, bad PR for Russia. The, these included the Pussy Riot uh, band members who, who were uh, arrested for protesting at a, a cathedral here, and uh, Greenpeace ac activists who were also jailed for hooliganism. Um, I, I think those are the, the, main, you know, the main cases that they're, uh, they're concerned with, um, with, with that law. But is Russian President Putin concerned about public relations? Is that really at the top of his agenda, smoothing things out like this? Because he's been a provocateur in the past, I might argue. Yeah, well, I, I, I don't think that he is too concerned about public relations normally, but the uh, Olympics are kind of an exception. There, there are two things that uh, the Russians worry about uh, phenomenally, or, you know, or, or events like this and also elections, because, of course, uh, elections being a... Uh, um, expression of the popular will sometimes don't don't turn out well and they have to organize them very uh, thoroughly um, I, I, I would expect quite a bit of activity uh, some um, somewhat uh, softer rhetoric from the rhetoric, you know Kremlin of you know try, trying to sort of ease people's feelings and then it, I, I, it would probably last until the uh, games are finished you got a, a, a lot on your plate to cover in the next 24 hours and certainly the coming months. Thank you so much, Alan Cullison. We'll be back with more Lunch Break in 30 seconds.